As a species, human beings have always used colors as a means of communication. Colors develop meaning and substance in our visions. In fictional media, colors are often used to mediate symbolism and communicate themes and subtext that are often best expressed through nonverbal means. In Breaking Bad, colors are utilized in such depth that they're intertwined into almost every single aspect of the show. The show even has a dedicated colorist to make sure that the employment of colors follows sound and logical reasoning. From screen filters to the color of the shirt a character is wearing, this video is going to take a look at how colors are utilized to reinforce, communicate, and express broader themes in the Breaking Bad universe. Before we get into the nitty gritty, there is something you should know about colors, and by extension, color analysis. Colors in and of themselves are mere visual representations. They don't inherently carry a meaning within themselves. Sure, certain colors may evoke certain emotional tones or feelings within the spectator. For example, the color black is often associated with darkness, evil, and other undesirable things, while bright yellowish colors are often more than not meant to signify the opposite. However, these meanings are unstable and ever-changing. The meanings that we ascribe to colors are contingent upon the context and are therefore highly subjective. Even if feeling blue is a linguistically valid expression, blue does not always mean sad. Although some people might insist otherwise, the same color can represent totally different things. Fortunately, Breaking Bad conducts color presentation and symbolism with proper thought and reasoning. In the Breaking Bad universe, the meaning communicated through colors isn't simply made of symbolisms. For the most part, the colors are utilized in a pattern-like manner to reinforce already existing themes. They aren't simply used as symbols to represent their own meanings, but are used to reference other colors in relation to it, establishing a pattern that the series have deliberately established earlier to signify certain themes. To this end, in addition to ascribing pseudo-arbitrary meaning to individual colors, Breaking Bad complements them by utilizing the color wheel instead. Let me explain. The color wheel is a device showing most of the major colors on a wheel. The wheel is meant to help coordinate colors that work together more easily. For example, the color purple is next to the color red and blue, and it's across from the color yellow. For the most part, this tells you that purple is likely to work well with either yellow, red, or blue. In Breaking Bad, the wheel is utilized to represent and signify character relationships, either towards each other or toward a specific theme that the show contains. For example, whenever the color purple is on screen, not only does it communicate what the show has assigned the color purple to be, but also its relation to other colors that complement it. This kind of dynamic is explored further to establish Breaking Bad's characters' relationships and identities. Breaking Bad's primary characters are all assigned a specific color as the basis of their identity. For example, Walter is often seen with a green shirt or attire. The theme most often signified by this color is greed. Green represents Walter's envy and thirst for power. It represents how Walt started out seeking money for his family. Furthermore, the color green maintains its relevance as Walt's quest for money became one for power, comfortably representing envy as well as growth. Skylar, on the other hand, is color-coded as blue. Other than the obvious fact that her name signifies the blue sky, Skylar also wears blue on a lot of occasions. In Skylar's case, her color represents loyalty and sadness. It expresses her loyalty to Walt even after finding out about his illegal side business and the profound sadness she feels over being trapped between a rock and a hard place. Jesse, who often wears yellow, represents optimism and the drug trade itself. Breaking Bad ascribes the color yellow to the drug trade as a whole. While we are going to expand upon this more later on, it is no coincidence that Walt's partner in the drug trade, as well as his actual entry into it, is someone who often wears yellow. Jesse's yellow expresses his optimism and boisterous attitude, as well as his cowardice and faux toughness. These color-ridden identities go a step further, actively referencing other colors to communicate relationships and associations. Walt's primary color, green, is a mix of blue and yellow representing the two people that have arguably contributed most toward his identity at the moment the events of the series are happening. Throughout the course of the series, Walt lived a double life as a family man and a meth cook. Skylar's blue is Walt's tie to his foundation as a family man, and Jesse's yellow communicates his descent into a meth cook turned drug lord. On the opposite end of Skylar's blue, we can find Hank's orange. Orange, as the mixture of red and yellow, 
represents how Hank is deep in the drug trade, while also being connected with the violence that comes with it. Hank lies opposed to Skyler, because while Hank wants to bring Heisenberg down, Skyler eventually takes an active part in assisting his drug empire. Looking at the color wheel allows us to understand how Breaking Bad's characters are related to one another. Even supporting characters like Marie can easily be mapped out by looking at the wheel. Marie almost exclusively wears purple. Purple's place in the color wheel is between blue and orange, signifying her close relationship with Skylar and Hank. Simultaneously, purple lies as opposed to yellow, which represents the drug trade, expressing Marie's lack of involvement in it. These color communications go beyond character identities and relationships. Specific scenes can be coded with certain colors to communicate consistent themes and messages that the colors have been previously ascribed to. One good example of this is the color yellow as a signifier for the drug trade. Many scenes relating to or foreshadowing the drug trade are expressed with the color yellow. While Walt receives the news of his cancer, which was about to be his eventual entrance into the world of drugs, he was fixated on a yellow stain on the doctor's shirt. When Walt looked for Saul's contact, who turned out to be Gus in Los Poyos Hermanos, Gus was wearing a yellow shirt, simultaneously signifying Walter's growing involvement in the drug trade, as well as marking himself as a part of it. When Walt and Jesse eventually cooked in Gus Fring's lab, they were both wearing yellow hazmat suits. This is one example among many, as colors are utilized widely and loosely in the series. Apart from themes, identities, and character relationships, colors are also utilized to a smaller extent in Breaking Bad cinematography. These take the form of filters, Although they are more apparent in Better Call Saul, in the spin-off series, the black and white filter that is normally used to signify a flashback is used to represent the future. The filter expresses how the future, in almost every way, is bleaker than the past. It further expresses how Jimmy McGill's story was one of downfall instead of triumph. This was also applied to the opening scene of Better Call Saul. If you were to see each episode's opening card, you'll see that they get darker in every episode, symbolizing Jimmy's struggle with his morality as the world gets its color sucked out of it. Interestingly enough, a cold blue filter is applied to Better Call Saul's actual flashback scenes. Considering Breaking Bad uses blue as the color of purity, loyalty, and sadness, it is possible that this cold filter is applied in order to further reinforce those themes from the past. In contrast to Jimmy's current state of mind throughout the events of the series, Lastly, arguably the most important filter in Breaking Bad as per the rule of Hollywood movies, Mexico is often yellow. Color interpretations in media are tricky, unstable, and subjective. The Breaking Bad universe manages to partially bypass this concern through deliberate signification of what colors mean. Relying more on repeated patterns and interactions between colors in the color wheel to communicate a thorough color lexicon to the audience. Colors in the Breaking Bad universe are interwoven into almost every single part of the narrative. Color codes are given to communicate not only characters' identities, but also their motivations and relationships with one another. Furthermore, colors are used to communicate specific themes that the character can then symbolically interact with. Lastly, it is also used more broadly to signify time and change in the form of filters. Despite its subjectivity, Color analysis and symbolism can be a great way to communicate the depth and universe consistency within a narrative. When done correctly, as Breaking Bad arguably did, it enables the audience to access more layers and angles through which the story is able to be experienced.